back now in this video you will simply start working on the password so let's create a text form field for the password right below this email first we will give some size box right in here and height will be 5 not too much and here const modifier so now right down below in here you will have a tax form field now right in there like we said the properties for the emails it will be also similar right in here but a few things will be changed in it so in here we will type it text input action text input action we will go with the dot next as I told you before about that and the focus node will be the pause focus node that we created and also for the email so in here we also use that it's gonna simply change the focus right after keyboard type so in here text input type and it's gonna be the visible password and also the control we didn't create it yet let us go and create the right at top let me small this and also this one so that we can see the code more easily so write down at the top in here below this email controller you will create it for a password one okay so final text editing controller we will say pass this means password text controller now in here text editing controller and there will be the text the empty string so we are done with the password text controller now we will go down and use that right in this control so we are done with the controller and also we will make the password obscure so what we will do we will simply go right at top and create a bool type obscure text so in here we will say bool type obscure text we will set it to true and also add it stop and the final let's go down now right after this pause text controller we will say obscure text not obscure text so basically that line of code will simply change the password dynamically I will add a comment also in here change it dynamically right after there's gonna be a world data like we said for the email so whenever the user will enter the password it's gonna be right inside that login and let's move further now we're gonna check that value in which there will be a password so if the value is empty and also the old operator if the value dot length if it's less than seven and in that case we will say something like please enter a valid password so it's going to be that text if the value is empty or also if the value length will be less than 7 then we will show this text that please enter a valid password 
So right after else we will return nothing. So there will be no. All good. Now let press the control S and see the output. There we go. I hope you guys can see the output. It's a black line. There we go. Okay. Now it's blue. Now we will do some styling like we did for the email so for the time saving we will go up and simply copy that star so simply copy it from this star to this input decoration copy it simply and go down first write in here foot comma and then in here paste it so we will change this to password the hint tax and all the stuff will be same now the one thing that we will add is simply the visibility icon from which we will simply visible the password or we will opt the visibility so for that writing this decoration what we will do we will simply say suffix icon in which we will have a gesture detector because this will contain the on tap event so the user will be simply tap on the visibility icon so in here that's why we use the gesture detector so right in the on tap So it's a stateful widget. So in here, we will say sysstat And here we will say of secure text. Simply set it to the non-obscure text. As you guys know, now we add this suffix icon in which there is a gesture detector and all the working as I tell you. So this input decoration will not be constant anymore. So we will remove that constant from here. So the red line will be gone. Then there we go. Okay. And in here add the constant modifier. So the yellow line will be gone then. and the code will be clean there you go okay now let's check this error what did I say so make a few of secure tags not a final let me check that so let's smack it in here then the error will be gone. Then, so this one, let me check now. So this one now, and the error has been gone already. Right after, let's add the icon. So here we will say child icon. Add in the icon. We will say object of tags. Then we will say if icon dot visibility. It's gonna be down visible, okay? And in case of if it's not visible, then we will show another icon which will be visibility of that one and we will also set the color colors will be white so it's gonna be more visible now simply we will press the control s and check the output there we go with the output okay there is a 
visible icon for now let's tap on it and it's off now the visibility is off so in here now I will enter some password let's say and as you guys can see the password is in dotted form because we off the visibility and now if I tap back on that the password will be visible there we go okay just tap on it and you guys will notice the output that's why in here adding the icon add that it's gonna be the obscure tags so in the if condition we set the visibility and in the else condition we simply off the visibility and you guys can see right in here it's working totally fine let me remove that password and there is a hint tax password all good as I told you before this will change it dynamically as you added the comment before and you guys already noticed the result it's working totally fine okay there we go and all of the thing is done for the password so that's it for this video right in the next video he will work further right from here